Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of August the 12th through to the 18th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. First up, we have Major Arcana, the uh, Emperor in the upright, followed then by the Four of Cups reversed. And next we have the Nine of Swords reversed, following the Major Arcana, Fool, Upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the uh, Judgment in the Upright. You do have three Major Arcana in the reading. Could be an intense week for you. <laughs> I see that quite a few uh, signs are having an intense week this week. Could be because of the full moon, maybe. Um... For your overall energy, you have that of the Emperor in the upright position. I think Cancer got this card too in the upright position in the same uh, same spot. The Emperor, this is a card that corresponds to the signs of uh, Scorpio and Aries. You could be dealing with that. It's a Mars ruled card. The Emperor is someone who needs to be in control. If you're dealing with a Cancer, maybe both of you are fighting for control uh, in, in the workplace or it could be even in the home. Um, there, there's a need maybe to take control. Sometimes the emperor comes up to let us know that the, a situation maybe is starting to spiral out of control and we need to, you know, pull the reins, get it back into control again. Uh, this could be a, a struggle for control. This could be a need to uh, speak with a high authority. The emperor is a high authority. So this could be uh, representing your boss or someone in position of power that you need to speak to about a situation that's maybe spiraling out of control. Maybe someone else needs to step in here and take control of the situation. Now, coming right off the hop, we do have the Four of Cups in the reverse position. This is uh, lovely energy when it's reversed as opposed to upright. When it's in the upright position, this can point to sometimes an emotional disconnect. Um, it could be for many reasons. Sometimes um, during um, loss, separation, or pain, um, war grieving, we are sort of separated from our emotions sometimes because we are too busy dealing with the practical aspect of life to really um, allow an emotional connection. When the card is inverted, however, this can point to feeling that uh, emotional surge again, sort of something coming around and, and jumpstarting our emotions, jumpstarting our heart. Could be a person, could be a situation. It's going to be different for all of you, but it's definitely good news. It can also point back to the Three of Cups in the upright position, which is a very sociable card. So perhaps some of you are feeling more sociable this week. And it's paired up with the four or the nine of swords in the reverse position. Nine of swords reverse is much better energy than upright uh, again, because when it's in the upright, this can point to a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights, difficulties, um, processing, uh, too many thoughts ruminating around and around our head. When the card is inverted, however, this is where we're releasing a lot of that anxiety. Maybe you're prop getting a proper night's sleep now. Uh, looks like there's a, a, some, a turnaround here for you, Virgo. This reading seems a little bit different than what I have seen for you in the past. So there could be a turnaround um, on the emotional front. There could be something happening really positive that's making you feel really, really good and perhaps taking you out of that anxiety. Now, moving towards the weekend, we have the lovely energies of the uh, fool in the upright position. This is all about taking that leap of faith. Um, and it's it's not easy, I know, uh, for any of the earth signs, but especially Virgos, to be taking a leap of faith in anything. Uh, you guys tend to be a little bit skeptical when it comes to, uh, you know, trying new things. But it looks like you're willing to take that chance. You're You're wanting to take that chance. Uh, there's something new around the corner. It looks like something that you're, you could be, it could be for some of you, maybe it's connected to a social group. Um, for others of you, it could be connected to a romantic partner. And uh, there's something happening here. And it's really, really making you want to take that leap of faith. 
And the last card we have up here is Major Arcana Judgment in the upright position. A judgment card can point to um, the a resurge of something. Could be someone from the past returning, or it could be a situation from the past that comes uh, back around again. We need to make a judgment call on it because when there's a resurrection of a situation or relationship or a person from the past, it could be that um, sometimes it just comes around again for us to get the proper closure from the situation. For others of you, maybe you're going to make that judgment call to give it another shot. Whether it be a relationship, whether it be a friendship, whether it be um, an, an old job situation or career situation that's resurging again. But something's coming back and it looks like you want to take this uh, leap of faith towards it. And if it feels right for you, then you got to do what you got to do, Virgo. <laughs> so... Uh, in closing, I'm going to pull an additional card for you from the Chakra Wisdom Oracle card deck, and we'll see what your card is. Perception. Perception. Maybe it's about a new perception, <laughs> and that's a new perception on an old situation. <laughs> However, it is meant for you. It is your special message, Virgo, so... That is your reading. I hope it helped. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.